Um, I think it would be great having him like to play the playoffs, but I think he had more important things to do as well. He's playing for Barcelona now, so I think that he's gonna end up his season like later than us. Uh, but I think you have like a really good side, you have a really good squad, so we're not gonna need him around here. So we're gonna make the playoffs and then hopefully you're gonna go up and go the promotion. Like everyone's expecting to get the promotion, everyone's expecting really high from us, from the club, so uh, I think it's gonna be really good if you get that promotion and everyone's gonna be happy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it was really tough times, I do remember. Money Field, <laughs> 6th of October uh, 2018 was the birthday of my sister. Yeah, so I called her from the hospital and then I said, yeah, I broke my arm, but it's all right and happy birthday. <laughs> uh, who, who, who helped me the most uh, here? Um, was my girlfriend at the time because I think <clears throat> without her here I would not have like this position I have right now because um, mentally you have to be really really strong because it's been like tough like five months passing just at home like I couldn't like do most of my things I, I love it to do it like as, as cooking uh, at home so and she ended up like doing like loads of things so I, I do have to like to thank her because like without her here it would be like really really tough oh i think they've been brilliant brilliant uh they've been supporting us like home and away games it's like massive for us like at, at the end of the season as well now we got like uh, five, six games left, isn't it? So if if you got your playoffs, they're gonna be really, really important. I think they are like the extra player we we playing when we just listen to them singing it, so passionate, like they they singing and then um, by when when the team is losing, when the team is uh, winning, so it, it's the same. So it's I'm, I'm glad we have like all, all the fans here and then all supporting. Um, I, I, I love them like personally because uh, it's, it's something we have. I think I've been doing like great for the team and then um, we, we have this chemistry <laughs> between me, me, me and the fans. So I, I think it's great. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, my cooking skills are great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd love to, uh, actually it's one of my hobbies, uh, I love to be in the kitchen, spend time in the kitchen and uh, baking or doing uh, whatever, so I, I can do, I can make feijoada, uh, I, I can teach the people and uh, it's gonna be delicious. Uh, I do have like lots of good moments, but I think it was a great moment when I, I came back now playing. Um, my first game uh, was Bogna. Then listening all the fans like again like uh, um, singing my song. I think was was that was a, a great moment for me. I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll take that forever because it was it was really tough time. I'd, I had it like like almost like five months without playing. Then and I'm here just to play, and then I think was um, was really great to, to finish that game, and they they just singing my name. I think it was it was it was really really good. It was a great moment. Um, well, living in England is. It's been, it's, it's been great actually, it's a uh, new culture, so we've been learning and then new language for me, like every, every day I'm learning new things, new words, so but my English is not that good yet, but 
uh, hopefully like a few more years it's gonna be great and my arm, my arm is great uh, yeah I didn't have any issues um, I've, I've been like training and then doing recovery physiotherapy at home and uh, take taking my care take 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 care of myself uh, at the gym so I've, I've it's been great <laughs> I do have a few good saves here <laughs> in Woodside and away games as well. Um, I do like the Folkestone save. Yeah, we did it. Like I think it's a full stretch, really close to the corner, and there's lots of people around. And I think I, that one was a good, good save. Uh, well, I do like to annoy the key man. I do like to annoy Stuart, but I, I don't steal things. So I, I always uh, tell him like the things I, I bring home because normally I'm training here every day with the academy. So I, I get the kit and I bring it home. So my wash it. So I'm, I'm training with the academy. So I, I need to keep training. So he knows I'm, I'm taking things and then he's taking a piece. So. <laughs> <laughs> one because I've been up to, I was in Brazil in that time so I was really young then uh, I wasn't the, the uh, worst player which is normally the worst player just go and go isn't it <laughs> so now I was I do have like my skills playing off outfields there then I think it became like naturally it was like training and then um, I was like, I think, passionate, so, sort of, because um, it's a different sensation when you do a great, great save and when you score a goal. So it's good when you have like the um, like the away fans, they are like behind in your goal. Then, for example, they just celebrating the goal and then at the end it's like that tip and then you save it then there's like they like celebrating like ah, ah. so they have and they can hear it there so it's, it's like a goal for a goalkeeper isn't it so I, I didn't have like lots of inspiration I think to be a goal, goalkeeper I think it was mostly of my goalie coats when I was really young so I think they just um, believed on me and they said like you're really talented so I think you've got a future in there so we, I kept training and training so I was like loving it being, being a goalie so I think that was the, the inspiring thing um, I, I would say like uh, Alf, uh, Alfie yeah, because I, I think he do both. He's a great, great defender, and then with the football, he's he's really comfortable playing from the back as well. So, and personally, me playing with him, like I'm, I'm much more comfortable uh, in goal as well. Because I know if I give the ball to him, he's gonna handle the situation, and I I, I trust him. So, is is that chemistry again we have in? So, is I, I know if he's gonna uh, commit a mistake or something I'm gonna hold his back and then if if I'm gonna commit a mistake he's gonna be there like holding my back as well so I think he's he's been doing great and I'm, I'm glad to have him back as well because we've been long long time injured so he's he's doing great for us so I was in Brazil that time uh, I wasn't sure if I was coming back to England or not because I didn't have any team or any contacts, so by the time I was, in, I, I finished my season in, in Whitehawk, and by that time I didn't have any answer for them if I would stay in the team or not. So I was in Brazil on my, on my vacations, and suddenly like Gary Alfie called me and asked me if if it would be like his keeper uh, from from that season was the last season, isn't it? So we'd be shy from. Since, since Brazil that time, so um, I came back on um, by the end of 
July. Yeah, by the end of July, then we we, we finished and then we got, I got a contract and then I ended up here and then it was great. Well, I, I didn't. Um, he had like a, a short time here, wasn't it? but when Hinge came, we start like going better and better and better, and then that's what the position we we right now, like we fall from the league, isn't it? <laughs> so it's, it's really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll be. I think uh, since, since since I'm young, I've been doing all kind of sports, so I, I'm good at them as well. So I, I can play volleyball, I can play basketball. Uh, I do like to play tennis as well. When I was young, I was training golf. Uh, I did I did like lots of sports, not just football. So I think it helps with the coordination and everything. So how much more things I think you can do it. And then uh, some of the things of volleyball or basketball, of jumping, for example, you can and bring in the pitch and then be, be a goalie. So some of the things you can bring from the other sports and bring to football. So I think it's really important to, to not just stay at football playing. So enjoy our other parts of other sports as well, because you never know what can can you can be, you know. So or tennis, for example, you can be really good with your feet as well and with reaction. So some of the training of goalie training, you train it with uh, tennis ball. So because it's small, and then you you have to react, and then you have to be more focused with the tennis ball. So I think it's gonna it could be an option to play other sports as well. Well, at the beginning, he was doing like his own thing, but by I got recovery by the, of my arm, and then I've been training more, and then I, I was getting more involved with the group again. So at at this point, I was telling what was my, what was my opinion of the goals they've been scoring, or positioning on, on training, or corners, or. Uh, tactically or uh, positioning on goals and I was giving my opinion to him so it's not like all the keepers they like to um, listen like the opinion of others so they think they're always right or, or wrong but I was giving my opinion so because I, I think I'm more experienced than him so at, at, at the point I could like uh, teach him like some of the things are, which is good for me but not all the keepers they they are the same so maybe some of the good things for me it doesn't work for him so I, I was telling him like oh if you do this I think it's better for you but because for me it works but um, I, I, I've been yeah telling telling him like some of, of, of the things I think was was wrong and then hopefully he accepted that and then makes him better as well Yeah, we did like a penalty shootout, like, so he scored four goals, he didn't score three, so we, we bet at that time, so he, he was needing money, so I said, okay, so I'm going to let him score, so I'm, I'm going to give him this, this money, so that's why. <laughs> Um, it's difficult to compare like club to club because every club is different so you have to uh, manage yourself like to see what's good for you what's bad for you so I do had like good good clubs I played in Brazil as well and I think from the last few years was the, the wording was was the best club I, I played for uh, by the environment, by, by, by the facilities, by, by people around, the, the fans again, so they have been <laughs> brilliant. So uh, it's, it's, it's been great here. Yeah. It's difficult to say, you know, because if, if it's just in Worthing here, 
I do love to train all the boys, so I, I, don't, I don't have this guy who I, I prefer to train with. Like, I like to train with people who is serious training and commitment of that training. So if you're training hard, if you enjoying the training and then doing the things right, I'm going to be enjoying like training with you. Brazilian instrument. Uh... Oh my god, yes. that's a difficult question, isn't it?